When you're tuning SQL queries, there's a couple of important questions to always keep in mind. First is, have my changes actually made a difference? Has anything changed? Secondly, if they have, have they changed things for the better or made them worse? And you can find this out by looking at the execution plans and the performance stats for the two approaches. Let's look at how you can do this using SQL Developer. I have here a big SQL statement, and I'm hoping to improve its performance. At its core is this library quizzes view, and I've got a rewritten version of this view, library quizzes test, and I want to compare and find out which performs better. I've already run autotrace on the original view, which I've got down here. And I want to compare this to the autotrace output we'll get when we query with the test view. First thing we want to do then is save the current autotrace report. And we can do that by clicking this little pin icon over here. If we do that, we've now saved this autotrace report. When we then switch the views around like so and execute the query again, we see we've got a new autotrace window with the new execution plan in. So we can compare the two plans. With big execution plans like this, it can be difficult to do it by eye. With so many steps, it can be hard to spot what's changed. Fortunately, SQL Developer has a handy compare option. We can do that by going to the Autotrace header, right clicking and going compare with Autotrace. This gives us the two execution plans side by side. The original one on the right and our new, hopefully improved plan on the left. And as we scroll down, if there's any differences between the plans, they'll be highlighted in red. And aha, we can see there's a couple of differences. Notably, in the original execution, we had a full table access of our QDB questions table. Now this has changed. We've now got an index range scan and a corresponding table in access by that index over here. Not only have we changed how we're accessing the table from a full table scan to an index lookup, it's also in a different location within the query. So you can see it's moved from below these two difficulty indexes over here to below these topic indexes over here. We can see that the execution plans are different. The question still remains, however, which one performs better? To answer that, let's have a look at the stats for each execution. We can bring those up and we get a whole bunch of figures related to each execution. Once again, highlighted in rent are the differences between the two queries. Now this is a whole bunch to look at. You may be thinking, do I really need to read all of these? Fortunately, the answer is no. For the moment, you can just concentrate on this consistent get metric. This is a measure of how many IO operations each execution is doing. So the higher the number, the more work the query is doing, and therefore the less efficient it is. So to answer our question, which is better, we need to look at these numbers. You can see our original query does just short of 9,000 gets whereas our new query does slightly over 6,000, a reduction of getting on for one third, a significant performance improvement. We can see that with just a few clicks in SQL Developer, we're able to easily identify whether the changes we've made to a query have led to a different execution plan, and if they have, a better performance statistics. Thanks for watching.